A deadly tornado that tore across the southeastern part of North Dakota has been upgraded to an EF5, the strongest classification for a twister. It's the first time a tornado with that ranking has been confirmed in more than a decade. While Maine doesn't usually see weather events of that kind of caliber, there has been some recorded data. Meteorologist Dana Osgood takes a closer look. There has been a big shakeup in the meteorology world recently. Back on June 20th, a large and violent tornado touched down in Enderlin, North Dakota. It destroyed part of a forest along the Maple River, upended train cars, and severely damaged homes, causing three fatalities. Initially, this tornado was rated an EF3, but due to work from the Northern Tornadoes Project of Western University in Ontario, the Canadian Severe Storms Laboratory, and wind damage experts, the National Weather Service upgraded the ranking of this tornado to an EF5. This is a big deal in the scientific community. EF5 tornadoes are extremely rare, the last one occurring 12 years ago in 2013, when a massive and destructive tornado struck Moore, Oklahoma, where 24 people died. Tornadoes are ranked using the enhanced Fujita scale. The EF scale rates tornadoes from 0 to 5. The rating is based on the damage the tornado causes, and wind speeds are extrapolated from that, not a direct measurement of wind speeds or size. Therefore, a strong tornado that only impacts a cornfield may yield a smaller rating than one that strikes a town due to a lack of damage evidence. Tornadoes do happen in Maine, but they're often few and far between. Maine averages only two tornadoes per year and has never seen a tornado above an EF2 ranking. The most recent tornadoes were a small land spout in 2023 and an EF0 in 2020, which caused some damage in the towns of Hiram and Sebago. In the studio, I'm meteorologist Dana Osgood, News Center, Maine.